strat it. Not even 20 XP. Ugh. I really need to get myself a proper XP farm. I mean, that or I just disenchant some of these extra tools I've picked up in fishing. Ah. I'm just a fisherman. Welcome back to Misadventure SMP everyone. I'm No Mouse Cat. And yeah. I've been a bit busy. I managed to fish up nine name tags. Uh quite a lot of enchanted items, a lot of fish. And minus the first two of these, all of these books. Yeah. You guys have been busy. And I'm nearly at 30 XP. So what I've been thinking is if I can disenchant every single one. Well, except for the really good ones that we can keep. I reckon we might be able to get ourselves there. I mean, that's certainly promising. Dang it. Oh well, at least we got a fishing rod back. So, apart from all that fishing, what are we going to be doing today? Well, I said last time that I want to go deeper into what's going on in this world. You know, all the weird buildings and creepy notes and all this weird stuff. And I figured by going deeper, we need to literally go deeper. And I don't just mean mining. Even though I can use some stuff. I'm talking about the nether. I mean, quartz is one of the best experience sources. And, well, I quite like the look of some nether blocks. But we just need to find a cool place to put our portal. I think I know just the place. We just gotta do a quick twirl and when I do we're gonna have a nice clear hillside. Just something nice and simple. There's a little bit of texturing up top but that doesn't really bother me that much. And I'm thinking well Fly Fry's base is right there, their little starter house. And just up here, you can see Gumco. And this is honestly a pretty good size. So I'm thinking we clear the grass tufts. And get to work on making our own little nether portal right here. And I think just like the enchanting Vardo, we're going to do it together. Let's roll. Okay. We got some stuff and I'm thinking the actual portal bit's going to go about here. I want to make it a little bigger than normal, so oopsie. A little bit too enthusiastic. So you want to go one, two, three, four, five. There. One, two, and do we want to do a 5x5? Five five? Mm, nah, we could be bigger. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You 
use a spruce log as an anchor point because that's going to be one of the main things we're using in this nether portal. Oh, yeah. That's quite impressive. But it's only the start. Because what I want to do is I want to build something around it. Something that kind of matches the vibe I'm going for. So I'm thinking start with, we take all of these and we make a bunch of, what do you call these? The full sight dig wood, spruce wood. I just call it spruce wood anyway, so we'll just call it the full sided. This stuff basically. And we want to start from here and kind of spread it out a little. I'm going to make it weave down, look all janky and creepy and kind of like giant tree roots. That's one. Is that too big? Might be too big. This is what this is the downside of building live, but you know what? It's fine. Get to talk things out as they're working, and you guys can kind of see how my mind works. It's a bit weird, I must admit, but eh, it's my mind. I'm the one that's not even with it. Here we can go down the side a little bit to about here. Thicken it up. And we got ourselves our first couple of tree roots. So all I need to do
a full spectrum of four roots coming out like that. I'm doing four because we want a clear path through this way for Gumco and Flight. Oh, hello! We're well, looking for you. And we want a clear path this way, even though I'm going to be putting something here. I think, well, no such thing as too much clearness. Now for the actual tree bit. And we want it to be quite tall. So we want our bucket in our offhand just in case. And I'm thinking we start on this side because it's got the spruce in it. I'm thinking we go up to about here. This will be where the actual trunk bit is and with it being this high we're going to water bucket fail the water bucket clutch apparently and get ourselves a nice looking tree trunk let's go there, that's the start of a little trunk. We got some texturing, acting with dark oak, slabs and stairs, you know the drill. And yeah, this branch especially looks super cool, which is good because I got plans for it and I hope it will turn out great. Now what we got to do is spread this all over the portal like this I did some stairs and slabs to all of the roots make it feel very anchored into the ground done on every single one so everything is shaped I wanted to make the other portal look like it's in a hole in the middle of the tree and I think it's so sort of okay once it's lit up, it'll look way better. Now all that's needed is some branches. And they... Well... You'll see. And there... We go. I think I'm gonna... Yeah, I go a bit overboard with the branches. Mm, nah. Got this nice little... Almost like a dead tree. For some reason I can't seem to make anything that's alive. I don't know why. Eh, probably because I'm not, but oh well. So, we got ourselves a gag tree. Portal, in fact. We got ourselves branches reaching to the sky with all these little twiggy bits. Love all these different kinds of fences we can use. They look so amazing. And all we have to do now is give it a test run. Here we go. Got my gold helmet. Got my bow. All we have to do now is hope and pray. Not a soul sand valley. Not a soul sand valley. Not a basalt daughter either. Please, please. Please. Oh. Oh. Uh. Um. This wasn't what I was expecting. I was hoping for more. Well, um. What? And I didn't bring any blocks. That was a bit stupid. Hey. Okay. Well, uh. At least we got a quick route to some potions, I guess. Well. I didn't expect the portal to show up on top of another fortress. <laughs> And I'm also not ready to attempt it alone. So 
what I am gonna do is I'm gonna leave a message with everyone to come check it out with me and in the meantime I'll get myself geared up to actually go take on the nether fortress and hopefully not run face first into a wither skeleton so yeah that is the plan but in the meantime there's a couple of things I wanna get done first just while I wait first of course well asking you lot out there to give me a like give me a subscribe if you haven't this series has always been so much fun and I really really hope to carry on, on with this series it's honestly best decision I've made ending up here there are some things you just never expect to happen and why are there we're going to be expanding a bit further comment where you'd like to see me expand I mean we got this big island I've got a couple of ideas for that we got all along there the hobbit village is over that way I don't feel like getting too close to it and we got all the way up to the nether tree there's stuff we could do there we need a place for our animals besides those hedges and yeah just comment down below anything and everything I want to see it I want to hear it hell even tell me your favorite flavor of ice cream so yeah next episode hopefully we'll have some people to go exploring in there with but that dear viewers that's the thing for next episode in the meantime this has been Minecraft. My name is No Mouse Cat. Scroll on.